Hey everybody, welcome back. Mark here with Miramar College, and today we're going to be talking about bag valve mask ventilation for the apneic patient. So let's jump right into it. We'll talk about the skill verbally, run through it, and then we'll talk about some of the other components. So just like every other skill, start off with standard precautions, make sure that the scene is safe. We're gonna run through the AVPU alert verbal, painful and unresponsive here for the check responsiveness section. So you walk up, sir, wake up, open your eyes, no response, tap and shout and then you'll utilize a trap pinch for painful response. Well, we find that the patient is unresponsive. You turn to your partner, good eye contact, good communications, call ALS, get me an AED, and then you will check breathing and pulse for at least five, no more than 10 seconds. So that's carotid pulse. We're down at the level of the chest. We're checking for any chest rise. The patient's apneic with a weak carotid pulse of 60. So then we'll use our head tilt chin lift to open up the airway. We find that the airway is full of secretions and vomitus. So now we got a suction. So we prepare a suction catheter. We're going to use rigid catheter, turn it on, and then we're going to insert it without applying suction, suction the mouth and oropharynx. Mouth and oropharynx are clear. So now we have to support the airway. We're going to size the appropriate OPA, front teeth to the angle of the jaw. We're going to insert it 180 degrees opposite of its orientation. Once we hit resistance, flip it around 180 degrees again so that it seats in there. And examiner will state no gag reflex is present. Patient accepts the airway adjunct. Now you will ventilate the patient immediately using a BVM bag valve mask device unattached to oxygen. So remember, bridge of the nose, cleft of the chin, good CE grip, give a little pressure down with the hand that's holding the bag. Head tilt, chin lift while you're doing the CE grip, one ventilation every five to six seconds delivered over one second. Ventilation is being properly performed without difficulty. At this time, you're going to recheck pulse and breathing, carotid pulse, five to 10 seconds. Attach the BVM to oxygen, that's at 15 liters a minute now. Ventilates the patient adequately, so you gotta make sure you get good chest rise, 10 to 12 ventilations a minute. And then the last question here, how do you know you are delivering appropriate volumes with each ventilation? We are seeing bilateral adequate chest rise and fall. So some techniques down here. Worth mentioning again, head tilt chin lift. So this is the technique you guys should be using on your head tilt chin lift, this hand placement and this technique. This is how we check the airway for secretions and vomit on medical patients. And again, just maintain proper technique. Suctioning here, this is called the cross finger technique. See how the thumb is opening up the mandible and you actually just take your I like to do it with my non-dominant hand, the cross finger technique with my dominant hand, hold the suction device and use it that way. No longer than 15 seconds, insert without suction, suction only on withdrawal. And we'd like to see you guys do it in a kind of a circular spiral motion going out. Sizing the OPA, measure from the front teeth to the angle of the jaw, insert 180 degrees, rotate once resistance is felt. So you got all these different sizes, make sure that you size the appropriate one. BVM ventilations as your bag valve mask. Seal the mask from the bridge of the nose to the cleft of the chin. Provide a ventilation by squeezing the bag until chest rise is seen. This should take about one second. Administer one breath every five to six seconds to achieve 10 to 12 ventilations per minute. All right, so that's our bag valve mask ventilation for the apneic patient. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment or send me a message on Canvas, and I will see you guys on the next one.